So till now we have studied how to find the slope of tangent normal, the equation of tangents and normals and we also saw how to find the angle of intersection of two curves. The next topic is to see how to find the length of tangent normal, subtangent and subnormal. Now what is the length of a tangent? How do we define the length of a tangent? Let's say we have a curve like this. The curve is C1. At point P, which is given by x1, y1, we draw a tangent and we also draw a normal. Tangent is T1 and normal is N1. Okay. Let the tangent intersect the x axis at T. Let the normal intersect the x axis at N. And let the slope of the tangent be theta. So, what is tan theta? My tan theta is the derivative of curve C1 at the point P which is x1 comma y1 okay what is this angle the tangent and normal are perpendicular to each other so this angle is 90 minus theta okay okay now the length of the tangent is defined as the distance between the points one of the point being the point at which the tangent is drawn on the curve and the other point being the point at which the tangent intersects the x-axis so my pt is the length of the tangent Similarly, Pn is what? Pn is the length of the normal. Okay. Now, what is length of subtangent? Now, subtangent is defined as the projection of the tangent on the x-axis. So, if I project this pt on the x-axis so this is my projection so this length st is the length of the subtangent similarly the projection of the length of the tangent sorry normal on the x-axis is the length of the subnormal. Okay. So I hope you got the definitions of length of tangent, normal, subtangent, and subnormal. Now my task is to find a proper formula for PT, PN, STN, SN. So let's proceed. Okay. First of all, you tell me what is this length SP? The thing you know is that the coordinate of the point P is x1, y1. So what is this length SP? The length SP is nothing but the perpendicular height which is nothing but the ordinate y1. So my length SP is y1. Okay. This angle is theta. So in this right angle triangle PST you know tan theta as SP by ST. So ST is sp divided by tan theta 
so it's sp cot theta okay since tan theta is dy by dx so cot theta i can write it as dx by dy at the point p now sp you know is y1 so y1 multiplied by dx by dy at the point p gives me the value of st and what is st st is the length of the subtangent now you tell me is this formula correct if i just write st is equal to y multiplied by y1 multiplied by dx by dy is the formula correct the answer is no because y1 can be a negative quantity dx by dy can also be a negative quantity so if any one of these not both of them are negative then st becomes a negative quantity but st can't be negative because st is a length okay so to take care of that what we do is we put a mod sign so now this is my proper formula for the length of subtangent now similarly let's find the length of the subnormal so my length of the subnormal is sn so i have to find the value of sn okay okay now you take this triangle snp i'll take triangle snp now in this triangle you see that this angle is 90 minus theta so tan of 90 minus theta is sp divided by sn which is y1 divided by sn so tan 90 minus theta is what cot theta so y1 divided by cot theta i'll bring it here is equal to sn and 1 by cot theta is tan theta so y1 into tan theta is my sn now what is tan theta tan theta is dy by dx at the point p now again to take care of the fact that sn is a length i'll put a mod sign so this is my length of the subnormal now let's see how we can find the length of the tangent and the length of the normal length of the tangent is pt to find pt you see that this is a right angle triangle pst is a right angle triangle in which i know the length of st and i know the length of sp so i'll just follow the pythagoras theorem which says pt square equals to st square plus sp square now st square is given by y1 dx by dy and sp is my y1 so my pt or the length of the tangent is y1 root under 1 plus okay so this is my length of the tangent okay so last part is to find the length of the normal so i won't leave that up to you i'll solve that also pn so to find pn take this small right angle triangle pns here again we'll follow the pythagoras theorem ps is known sn is also known so my pn turns out to be okay okay so done we have found out the formula for the length of tangent normal subtangent and subnormal now what i'll do is we'll take our 
famous parabola and we'll find the length of the tangent normal subtangent and subnormal at a particular point when i say the famous parabola i mean the parabola which we had used in our previous questions the parabola was y square equals to 4ax and the point which we had been taking till now was 80 square 280 okay so my question is to find the length of the tangent subtangent subnormal and subtangent at this point p okay so it's very simple first all you need to do is find dy by dx and dx by dy okay we had figured this out in our previous questions dy by dx was 1 by t okay how did we figure that out differentiate both the sides 2 by dy by dx was 4a so my dy by dx was 4a by 2y i put the value of y here so i'll get it as 1 by t and dx by dy, dy will be t now the rest of the part is very simple i'll just solve one part the rest of the part i'll leave it up to you so i'll find out the length of the tangent it's given by y1 1 plus dx by dy whole square my y1 is 280 and dx by dy is t so the length of the tangent is 280 1 plus t square root under okay so now we are done with this part next we move on to very important theorem which is known as the rolls theorem 